Hello everyone, Pelletum here. Welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Still continuing to record these offline, even though I said I was going to stream them. Uh, just the way the schedule's working out, it's just kind of coming down to this. Thank you all for being here though. Thank you all for watching. In the last video, we jumped into arcs. We killed the Kraken back at the entrance. We looked at the Magister's base, which was right over here, and uh, saw that someone had fleed, a Magister had fleed, because the Paladins were trying to kill them all. Followed one of the fleeing Magisters down to the beach here, and then into the sewers, where we uncovered the plots of the Dwarves, attempting to blow up Arcs. And, well, we put a stop to it. We killed off Isbel, which was the handmaiden, the second in command, basically, to the queen of the dwarfs, Queen Justinia. And then uh, we came up stinks. in this building right here, which was a wedding. I didn't stick around too much. I don't really have any interest in seeing that one play out entirely. But as I was standing in there, we were confronted by an elf. And this didn't actually happen in the video. This happened while I was sitting up today. And this elf said, good job. <coughs> Excuse me, defeating Justania, the doctor will now see you. And we know from Act 2 that the doctor is actually a demon in disguise. We learned this while we were obtaining the capacity to earn more source or to carry more source. So, the let's see what he has to say. Open. A creeping sensation comes over you, as if the door were examining you. The doctor is not taking visitors. Tell the door you have an invitation. Please step inside. The doctor may see you. Perhaps. All right. Immediately save as we walk in. That's always a good sign. You are invited. Do not keep the doctor. So the doctor's right over here. Hey, bud. Welcome, my friend. I'm glad you could come. Tell me, what ails you? Yo, nothing's bothering me. You asked me to be here. You should know that I have forgiven you your little indiscretion with the irritating Jehan. But you owe me. At least, hear me out. We know he's we a demon. We should work together. We know we he's share a demon. common cause. I'm just going to say his name right away. Now, I may not be the best paladin in the world. I may not be following the God's path any longer. But I am still opposed to demons, so I'm going to say his name aloud. Adremalik! The doctor looks at you in shock. The word seems to hurt him. He hisses in anger. Do not say that name! It's supposed to weaken him severely. He quickly recovers his composure. Now, you don't know yet what I'm about to propose. Take a moment. At least hear me out. I'm not interested in making packs with strangers. Then we should get to know each other a little bit. Tell me the you're listening. No! It's simple, Godwoken. Find your way into the crypt. Find Lucian's tomb. Summon me. Together, we shall kill the divine. Divinity will be ours. No. No, tell him divinity will be mine and mine alone. And by mine, I mean faints. Then you may see yourself out. And keep your hands off the valuables. Accepting walk-in patients, clearly. So we got thrown out of there. Can we go back in? The door does not open. It- The doctor, please step in. I have an invitation. I'm not simply going to be thrown out of this room. I will be taking down the doctor. Or, you know, trying to. Let's go ahead and do a little you quick save. Have left when you had the chance and stay with the doctor forever never so, fight with your doctor he's level 20 there it is there it is so the doctor's a little more than he had seemed as you can clearly tell starting off with a cursed fireball that takes all of Fane's magic armor away and then immediately hitting Fane again for quite a lot of damage Well, wow, Fane's actually almost dead in one turn. I went ahead and used Soulmate. I picked that up. I'm ready. What that allows Fane to do is link himself with Walter for how long? 
Character is sending 100% of the healing and armor restoration to Link character for three turns, three turns. This way, we can buff up Fane quite a bit. Um, we have enemies in every direction, so our options aren't looking too good, to be totally honest with you. Let's go ahead and jump in. We can't even do that. I'm going to move up to this nurse and just try to deal some damage so Fane can get some of that health back. He's healing for 900 a swing. Got an attack of opportunity there, but she did step out of the way, and she's going to open up with a dominate mind. So Fane is now charmed. That's really, really, really bad news. Uh, I am... Wait, can I remove charm with magic shell? Rem cures burning, poison, stun, frozen, suffocating, petrified. Oh, I would need to use clear-minded. That removes charmed, right? Yeah. I really should just buy that skill so I don't run into these issues. So that's one buff on Fane. We'll put a dome down as well. Make sure it hits both of us using one source point. Uh, remember, I believe he double dips here because he's also getting the healing that Walter receives. Now, or the healing and armor restoration. So if I cure Walter, does it act as a cure to Fane? Because if that's the case, then he's actually going to take a ton of damage because of course he's an eternal. I'm not sure. I'll just do as much buffing as I can and then cast the... Crap, I'm actually not close enough. Maybe we could take her down. Path is interrupted. Um, I have living wall. I picked this up from, I believe it's on my amulet. Potentially, I could block off the path here so that his minions have to run around. Potentially. Does a little bit of poison damage. I've actually never seen that skill in action, so I don't know how good it is. But uh, at least we put it down and we shall see. Also, because it's a living wall, I mean, it's poison, right? So I should be able to ignite that for a decent amount of fire damage. I'm just worried about the fact that the uh, the demon is so damn tanky, but I do have a plan up my sleeve. I have something that I would like to try. We're just going to have to have these things kind of set in motion relatively quickly. Now, all the nurses are scurrying over to help out the doctor, obviously. The dome will protect Fane momentarily, and we have more demons jumping in. He's going to deal a pretty sizable backstab damage to Fane there. And uh, hitting him right through his armor is not that, not that good for me. Uh-oh. Fane may not live to the next turn. The blitz attack jumping in. Once the next turn procs, I should get a big buff to armor and magic defenses. I should. Mass corpse explosion. There's no corpses. Laser ray will burn down that wall though. Oh, but he can't get through. It did block a buff. Okay. Okay. Who can we actually fight here, Fane? Fane, I'm gonna give you another turn. Um, and let's just, let's buff you up like crazy, man. You're really going to need to get a lot of health back here. So once again, we will enrage Fane I'll yield and just have him try to deal as much fucking damage to this guy behind him as he can. Remember, he's going to get an extra turn here. So we might be able to actually start receiving some healing. Looks like we got a little bit there. Now Walter's gonna be up, and I'm really counting on Walter's defenses to help keep Fane safe during this particular turn. I am gonna move up to stand next to him. We're going to cast Guardian Angel so he can soak up some damage. I hope keep him alive. Um, I would like to take out some of these nurses, but that's easier said than done. I can't throw my shield at this one for 2,000 damage. Wow, that's crazy actually. And are they undead? No immunities. Character has no talents. Uh, we'll turn on flame tongues just for a little bit more damage. 
it looks like the doctor might be able to move through next turn. Ooh, that's a hail strike. And it left ice on the ground as well. Remember, we don't have nails in our boots for comedic effect. That could come back to haunt us here. Maybe charging right in on this demon was a bit of, of a, a bit of a mistake on my part. Maybe slightly, slightly a mistake. I think we'll be able to kill the ads relatively easily. They are buffing up Adrenaline quite a bit. He's gonna have a lot of buffs here. But remember, any damage that Fane takes, he is sharing with Walter right now. And Walter has a ton of healing at his disposal. So I'm hoping that in with the dome as well is gonna be more than enough to keep him safe. That being said, he was just knocked down. God. The, the damage in this room is insane. Just insane. We're almost back up to our turn. Of course, Fane's our heavy hitter. Oh yeah, they're burning down that fire right now. Fane's our heavy hitter. So I don't I don't know if we'll actually be able to to win this. Oh, and now he now he's taking a fucking he's decayed, so we can't even heal him if we tried. We might have to have another go at this. All right, Walter. Do an earthquake, bud. Yeah, just hit everybody. Just hit everybody. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and try to heal yourself to see if Fane gets that healing. I suppose I don't want Fane to get that healing, but I, I don't think he did, actually. Um, I'm going to... Slam the ground. Finish off that guy in the quarter. Now, I can't remember if I have the talents on Fane where he will come back to life. I really can't remember. Silencing stare. That's actually not a big deal because we had so much magic armor. The issue is all of that magic armor we had is now gone. I went back to our save where we're just coming in the front door here. You are in the books. You are invited. So we haven't actually had Do our conversation with the doctor yet. Waiting. I think I'm just going to open up here. Never pick a fight. And deal as much damage doctor. as I can. We should have enough space that we can literally just run out of combat after and then try to re-enter the building. That's the plan anyway. Yeah, who knows if it'll work? I have no idea. But, I mean, Fane should be able to kill this guy off pretty quick. Thought anyway. Let's knock him down, Fane. You fucking missed. Okay. You're not trying to escape. Attack of opportunity. Two of attacks of opportunity, right? And then I can throw my shield and this guy will be dead next turn. He put ice under my feet. I'm going to slip on that. See, they're immediately buffing up the demon. All right. Now, I just want to leave this building. I want to get Walter out of combat. That's the plan anyway. That's the plan. We'll see. I'm also curious to see what their spirits say. Because they all drop a spirit when they die. It's probably, in, probably insightful. Okay, Fane should be out of the building. Let's just keep moving him back. Go ahead, Fane. Walter! You know, I didn't even think about the fact that I just killed the doorman. Can I actually re-enter? I don't really know. And Walter's out of the building. Okay. Rest up. And go back in. If they let me. Hello, door. Oh, easy. Easy game, easy life. All right, what does the spirit have to say? What do you have to say for yourself, spirit? What? What happened? The last thing I remember was hunting the, uh, the doctor. That monster, he must have done this to me. He must die. The world will be a better place without him. Um, a spirit who he is and how he came to be here. I, uh, I was a demon hunter. I tried to hunt down the 
thing that lived in the doctor's skin, but I failed. He made me a slave. Of the I'm gonna eat your spirit, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. Okay, I honestly think the smartest way of doing this is going to be to leave Walter outside. He doesn't deal any fucking damage anyway. And we'll send Fane in on secret assassination missions. There's a nurse in this room. Her back is to the center of the room right now. We'll just open up with an all-in here. Did it work? Did he not? He dealt damage, okay, okay. So we started off with an all-in. The doctor's making his way over. We don't give a shit. We're gonna do another all-in. And try to take her down. Uh, if she moves, we get free damage, but I'm gonna do a Shackle of Pain anyway. That way, if they attack me, she'll die as well. Which I imagine someone's gonna try to attack me. I think that's a safe bet. Maybe they'll all buff the doctor now because of how I started that turn. It's actually a little interesting. There we go. He hit me and he hit me hard. Now you may be wondering, how do I... Okay, as long as he doesn't... As long as he doesn't fear me, I'm chilling. Spontaneous combustion, that's fine too. You may be wondering how I get Fane out of this. Well, that's just an easy tele teleporter pyramid away. And it's as if nothing happened. Rinse and repeat. We don't actually don't have magic armor right now, so we will have to wait momentarily. But this is the idea. Sneak in, get up behind one of these guys, deal as much damage as humanly possible. I'm actually going to open up with a source attack this time. I'm just going to start with Onslaught. I just want this person dead. And we did a lot of damage there. We did a ton of damage there. Ouch. Well, let's hope. One. And... <gasps> you son of a bitch. She's not dead? How is she not dead? Fane, you're slipping! I gotta get more damage on Fane. I have to get more damage on Fane. That just won't do. I respect him a little bit. I put some points into Hydra Fist and some points into summoning again so he could use some unique abilities there. But his job is literally to be my fucking assassin, right? He... This can't happen. I used a source skill for this and she was no stronger than the other one. Fate used to be able to deal 5,000 damage with your eyes closed! Uh-oh. As we get closer to the doctor's room, our plan may not fucking work anymore. The doctor is going to attack before me. And we don't have any magical armor, so he could charm me. But I actually think it was this archer right here that did the charming last time. Spontaneous combustion. It hurts, but it's not the end of the world. Mass corpse explosion. The only corpses are in this room over here. Auto attacks hurt, but no big deal. Oh, can't teleport. Okay, so play dead. Well, good night, everybody. Go back to what you were doing. There's no combat here. Dude, Fane's busted. Fane's busted. Let me go respec. I'm gonna get some more damage on him. Oh my god. Okay, so I thought I would take a look in the city square to see if I could find something that maybe is a little bit better. This has a chance to set knockdown, a 25% chance per swing, three constitution, or three strength, two constitution, two warfare. With strength and warfare, it's going to be increasing the damage past the 196 to 207 damage that has listed at the top. That's 100 more damage than my weapons, my my weapon uh, range. It also fucking cleaves. That is worth every 
single piece of gold. I'll take my leave. Uh, we also put two more points in Warfare, which increases his HP by about another 600. This means uh, that Fane is a certifiable monster, I'm pretty sure. Where did the, okay, there it is. We could also put a rune in this to make it even stronger, increasing its physical damage a bit more. Medium masterwork rune. Oh, that, there's a giant one. Okay, I was gonna say, I should be able to make a different one. Oh my God, that upgrade is insane. I went from, I went from this sword, where did it go? I went from this sword to that fucking base. That's amazing. All right. All right, I'll be right back. Kill some more demons. I think I have a small window to sneak up on this guy here. Cause there is someone patrolling the room. But we're moving so slow, I don't know if I'm gonna make it in in time. I'm just gonna go all in right away, use three AP. Oh, he's about to move. I one shot him! Oh my God. How much damage did you deal? It doesn't say. Holy fucking shit. All right, get out of there, Fane. Some people will definitely see this as me cheesing the fight. This is one of my favorite things to do in games. It's manipulating the AI, man understanding the mechanics of the game so intimately that I can work around what the AI is capable of. And Fane's honestly a great character for doing that. All right, there was another guard at the end. Ah! I think he's got, I think he's caught onto us a little bit. The German leak is patrolling. Maybe he's just going back to his original position. I'm going to try to sneak up. If he starts the fight, there's no winning that. Someone does have vision here. And someone has vision in the hallway as well. Uh, Can I fit? Oh, he moved. He moved. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get in there, Fane. Oh, well, that sucks. There's no getting by that. We're going to be detected. Who's pathing? God, he's still moving around. Oh my God, he even has the thick of the fight buff. This increases his damage for every ally he has near him. God, that guy's ridiculous. <gasps> I can go now. I can go now. Nice, he moved to the bookshelf. All right, Fane, all that? Another one shot! That's like 5,000 damage! Jesus fuck, dude. Oh my goodness. And then teleport out. As if nothing happened. Thinning the herd, boys! We're thinning the herd! Alright, let me in there. We should have a clear shot all the way up to a Jam Leaks room now. Now the issue is, how do we finish off people in this room when he has clear sight patterns on all of us? And I may have an idea for that. Wait, he's back on this side. <gasps> now's the now's the time. Now's the time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta move now. Gotta move now. Hit this dumbass mother. Oh, they saw me. <laughs> I wonder if I could deal with him. He still takes all of my magic armor away in one cast. Yeah. Yeah. Got a little problem. Got a small problem. I'm going to bounce. Uh, what I'll do this time is as we enter... I'll go ahead and say hello to this ghost over here and see how he's doing. Ghost a of a patient. Peers down at his own remains with morbid fascination. He's the guy his on the table. His form takes on a queasy shade of green. Not that you're quite brave to look upon your own body with such a condition. Well, it's, it's not often you get to see yourself in this state, is it? It's true. He gestures to a small gray lump nestled within his open chest cavity. That's what did me in. Funny, <laughs> doesn't look like much. What happened? I was sick. 
and I wasn't going to get better. The doctor made me an offer. He'd pay me if he could study my body after I died. It was a lot of gold. <laughs> I couldn't say no. I'm providing more for my family in death than I ever did while I was alive. <laughs> Go figure. The spirit gasps and tries to take shelter behind his own cadaver, but it's too late. Sorry that you found a necromancer there, bud. Rest easy. The Dramalik is still patrolling the doorway over there. Okay, I'm moving now. Oh, he saw me immediately. Fuck! Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Up the stairs, hit this guy. You missed! Alright, get another turn. How could you miss like that? Enrage! Yourself! Go! <laughs> Holy shit, Fane. Oh my god. <laughs> and I can't cast play dead, so uh, I'm gonna have to make her. I'm ah! Break the door! Shit! <sighs> Our plan might be ruined. I don't think Fane's gonna get out of this. I don't think Fane's gonna get out of this. I'm going to enjoy this. Why didn't you attack me? I don't understand. He got right up behind me for some backstab damage. The enrage might be my undoing. I'm marked, not charmed. Shocking arrow. Shocked, not stunned. I'm going to enjoy this. He's waits. He wasted his turn. Break the door down. Okay. Uh, get as far away from them as you can, Fade. Get as far away from them as you can. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna lose Fade! Shit! <laughs> Wait, maybe he can't attack me. Oh, he overpowered. All right, Fane's down. Don't worry. I think I could teleport in and not be attacked. I think. That's why I wanted to break the door down. Yes! Okay. Okay, so we'll res Fane. Right here. God, he has heads on a shelf over here. What the fuck? Fane's back in the fight. It's not safe to rest here, it says. Fane, can you break this door? You'll be safe to rest down there. This is the basement that the doctor has. So, can we make this work? Let's find out. Dramalik's coming back. We might be able to finish off this demon here. Sneaking failed, of course. But, no, I don't think that's quite enough damage. I don't think that was quite enough damage. That magic armor hit is actually pretty, pretty good for us. So I kind of just have to commit to it and see how we do, I think. Um, and this could potentially ruin everything. But Glory let's enrage, get two hits in. Uh. Not going to be enough to kill this guy unless he moves away next turn. Like this! Oh, he didn't move far enough! He didn't move far enough for an attack of opportunity! But he cast overpower twice? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, we lost Fane. Fane is down. Hold on, Walter, get in there. Get in there, Walter. Get as close as you can. I still might be able to finish off this dude. 
And who knows, we might actually be able to keep Fade alive. I'm gonna do- this is it, I'm sticking in! We're staying, we're staying! So dumb! Buff him! Try to get him back on his feet. Adrenaline is still terrifying. He used laser ray with no sound. It was the stealth laser ray. Now, Fane is still knocked down. He used that on Fane. Oh shit. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. All right, they're stealing all my source and that's not an easy thing to come by. But, but, we're in line of sight to res Fane. Pretty far back. Um, I'll try to hold this line until he can get to safety. We did kill one demon. We did kill one. Right, I'm gonna do an encourage. I'm gonna give him armor of frost as well. I'm just really hoping he doesn't die here. Uh, and I'm gonna try to hold the line on Walter for as long as I can. He's pretty tanky, so. Out of the two of them, Walter would be the one that can do this. Oh God, the ricochet though. All right, Fane, get to safety, get to safety. Okay. Yo, he's chilling. He's back up to full fucking health. Now, Walter, what can you do here? What's it looking like? We got a demon behind us and he's not too happy to see you. Let's do an earthquake, Walter! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Um, we could jump him out to complete safety, but I feel like I might be able to take this guy in front of me down with my magic. We have horrific, horrific scream coming out. Here, let's try to re-enter the fight on Fane. Oh, perfect. Perfect, look at this sight line. The fight's still going on. Walter's taking a lot of damage. We have it all in right here though, boys. Why is he running? Oh, okay. He was actually out of range for the mass corpse explosion. Doesn't make any fucking sense. All right, Walter's still in the dome, still feeling fine, in fact. Where are you going, big guy? Uh, let's throw our shield. We can't. Let's move up a little bit and then throw the shield. Also knock these guys down for this turn. It took some time, but I think I'm finally in control of this fight. Took some fucking time, though. Attack of opportunity. If he moves too far, he was moving into backstab range, though. And boy, did he backstab. He's dead next turn, but we're just gonna finish him off all the way. And then I'm gonna I'm just gonna re-enter the fight again. If this is here, I'm gonna use it. Okay, two guys at the top of the stairs here and a giant demon raining down hellfire. On the other side. Oh wow, I didn't even have to enter that. We can already jump right back in. All right, Walter, hold the line, bud. You got it. You're doing great. You're doing great. Shields up. Keep your defenses high. Could do a soothing cold. I don't even need a soothing cold. Charge in. Good knockdown. We'll also do a whirlwind here as well. Now, Walter, Walter's damage is not very good, but you know what? It's not that bad either. So, Fane is in the dome. Adramalik, still basically at full HP. Let's use another one of our secrets, the Skeletal Swarm. Summons a fiery protector, which can then summon additional protectors, creating a swarm skeleton. Swarm skeletons to assist you in battle. Now, my summoning is shit. But, maybe, just maybe, we can overrun this guy. I'm also going to do a Mass Shackles of Pain. 
since the two guys on the stairs are completely stripped of their physical armor from Walter. And then the only thing left to do, actually we can knock him down again. We say we'll hold our ground, but we might as well just deal that damage. Now, apparently this guy can summon in another skeleton, but that actually doesn't appear to be the, oh. Look at that! Look at that, we're getting pets in here! Okay, now this pet goes. What can you do? Haste? Restoration? Oh my god. It's actually amazing. Or you can summon in another skeleton! This is busted. This is too strong. This is too strong. Can you summon in another one? You can earthquake! <laughs> Supernova is going to deal a pretty considerable amount of damage to our new skeleton friends. But it should buy us enough time here with Fane. Um, I honestly think I'm just going to keep him in the dome for now. I'll do a, a blood rain so these guys take a little bit of bleeding damage so Walter can finish them off a little bit easier and then just save the rest of my AP. Throw the shield. Both down. They're both down. Okay, Walter. Get in there. We'll go ahead and turn on our flame tendrils as well. Yo, these skeletons are straight fucking busted. I don't know how many turns they actually last for, but you really can't get a swarm of skeletons out. This was added in by one of our mods. We had never used it before. I didn't know how good it was, to be honest with you. I was saving it for a special occasion, and this was that occasion. But it looks like a Dramalik has repositioned. Right, rightfully so. I mean, he fucking should. Uh, let's... We're gonna have to just walk up. We'll do zero AP with our pawn talent. Now we're in melee range. And I'm gonna get a lot of hits in here. 4,000 damage on our fucking critical hits. 4,000 damage. How long does this challenge last? No, fuck it. Just give yourself guaranteed crits. This guy's dead next turn. Oh my god! I'm just gonna watch. Just gonna let Fane do it. Fane's damage is insane. Fane's damage is fucking insane. And just like that, the strongest demon in the, all of the land has been killed. Farsight skill bug increases the range of target characters. We have the doctor's key, but you don't really need a key when you just break all the doors down. Um, he does have a really good helmet here as well. Insanely good, actually. We'll go ahead and equip that on Fane. Uh, identify this one as well. Wow! Are you kidding? That physical armor is insane. We'll equip that too. Jeez. Now that is not very good. Compared to everything that we've been getting, that is not very good. How does that compare to Walter though? How does that compare to what Walter has? Uh, it's, I don't know. Oh, no way, no way. That's probably an upgrade for Fane. Okay. So we'll sell off the rest of this stuff. Send it all over to Walter. Jeez, look at Fane's face now. He's scary as shit looking. It's like he's arrived. He's like, yo, what's up? What else did these guys have? That was only the main boss. Yo, we just killed one of the most powerful demons in the game. Or probably the most powerful demon in the game. Granted, I had to fucking cheese it a little bit. 
But in my four player playthrough, we cannot kill him. We've tried. We've tried so many times. We cannot kill him. Oh my god, the amount of damage Fane can do is fucking out of this world. Just out of this world. I- oh. I bet his key allowed us to open that chest. I was gonna say I don't have thievery anymore, so actually getting into these chests might be a little difficult, but... So we can assume all of these nurses were kidnapped just like the receptionist at the start. Or they were old demon hunters that were then, um, it's, it dominated, their mind was dominated. We can assume that that was the case with all of them. I wonder why the doctor wanted to study that dead body. The notes inside might have some more answers. Let's talk to the spirit, let's see what she I'm, has to say. I'm dead. Praise Tears and Dilius. The long nightmare is over. And the doctor's presence lingers no more. He has been snuffed out. Good. Many have sought to kill the doctor. None have succeeded. I am one of those hunters who became prey. He possessed me and forced me to do his bidding. Okay. The spirit doesn't even have time to react before she is consumed. Poor spirit. She didn't deserve the Wrath of Fane. <laughs> so, we're in the basement now. We did level up. So, I'm going to go ahead and increase the constitution of Walter. Twice. I'm going to add... I wonder if I should invested more, should have invested more into single-handed for him. I've split my points pretty evenly here. I've tried to get as much warfare as possible and as much pyro as possible. The warfare is simply there to increase his HP. From the, well, and, and his damage too. Don't get me wrong, and his damage too, but because of our picture of health talent, it's a lot of HP. Uh, we're going to increase the strength of Fane, increasing his damage even more, which is hard to believe that that's even fucking possible. We can also increase his I think two-handed, now that we are critting as much as we, we have been, I think two-handed is going to be great. Increasing not only his damage with two-handed weapons, but his critical strike multiplier. Uh, which means that we're probably going to be hitting for close to 5,000 damage with every swing. Which is fucking insane. Absolutely insane. It's a bunch of... Dust Blast Scroll. I mean, I'll take it. Bone cage scroll. That's probably good. Is that a chest? That is. What's in it? A ring and a wand. That looks gross. We might have to go pick up thievery on Fane really fast. Oh, hello. Artifacts. Protected by magical shields. Locked. With magic. Locked with magic, okay. Another eternal artifact. Another eternal artifact. The doctor's prison key. I'm assuming that'll open this door up here. Uh, silver bars. A severed head. Is that like a weighted plate? Let's read the sheet of paper, see if it says anything. Or it's literally just a sheet of paper, never mind. This place is weird, man. There's like just teddy bears and stuff in a room with severed heads. It seems so strange. And like eyes on pedestals and. Very, very strange room. Animal hide? Did any of these open by me touching that? Locked with magic. So, I actually don't know. What happens if I like move an eye onto it? 
Anything? I thought maybe what it was holding would, like what was on top of that thing would affect what door would open. Why else would there be all these miscellaneous knickknacks in here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Fane, just go respect, bud. It only takes a second. It only takes a second. Hey, Gareth. Meanwhile. Oh, I can't even get down here, probably. We might have the key. No, we do. And there's a small ladder that descends a bit further. It's in Fane down here. So what is this ladder? We're sent to a room with source on the floor. Fish. A barrel. It's stuck fast. It won't move. Barrel that appears to be ew, on a pressure plate. What's in the other barrels? Poison fish. I wonder if these were the same fish that were going into uh, Act 2, whatever that place was called. So this won't move? It's fixed to the platform. I wonder why. I don't know. Void old plate? Void tainted... Is that just fish? Yeah. What happens if I burn it? Apparently nothing. Yep, yeah, well, no idea what that's about. <laughs> this place is fucking weird, man. All right, Fane. Don't identify gear for a moment, please. Uh, what is it? Okay. Abilities? Abilities. God, I wish I had more points for that. I would I would really like to be able to do everything without having to go back every time I wanted to lockpick something. And you might argue that you're not supposed to, but it's in the game, so I'm gonna do it! You ended my suffering. Whoa. Uh happy to help. I am a projection of the spirit of Elenessa. The demon is dead. I am no longer his slave. You have my gratitude. And in recognition of all that you've done, I shall give you the spirit of an elven morning star. Made of pure source, it will pierce your enemy's armor. I know you shall use it in the service of good. Fare you well, demon slayer. Whoa, I didn't know about this either. That's what I love about this game. I've played through it three times and every single time, this is my third time, every single time I find something new that I didn't know about and that's just amazing. Because there's so, so many different, God, those are amazing fucking shit. There's so many different variables that can happen. Bless Pilgrim's Pants, that's what we're doing. That's what we're going for. Thanks, lady. So why was she summoned? Locked. With locked. She just fucking showed With up. Magic. I don't understand. So she gave me a morning star. It's technically worse than mine. Lowers my constitution. Has cleave damage and life steal. But it strikes with pure source, which is kind of cool. I mean, like I said, it is a downgrade. Why does that say main hand? I guess either both of these do. Um, that is a downgrade. Oh my god! This also increases our crit hit chance! Shit! Our critical hit chance is at 50% right now. 40% right now, excuse me. God, that mace is amazing. I don't think we're gonna find a better item than that mace. Well, I should be able to lock, un unlock these. What's in this one? Locked. Lock, lock, lock. It's not locked at all. You unlocked with it. With magic. 
Are these just scrolls? What's happening? There's a statue in that one? There's gear in these. Oh, what's in that? Can't reach my ass. There is a ancient warrior skeleton? Locked with magic. Lord Ronnie's britches, Lord Ronnie's boots. Good find. Um, wits, scoundrel sneaking, and initiative. Those are great. Yeah, equip those. Actually, these pants are way better. The ones we got from the quest turn in. But if we didn't have those, those would be really good. Uh, these boots lower our intelligence, but raise our finesse. Set erratic wisp. What does that do? Set erratic wisp. Uh, these are probably way better. Honest, honestly, is it a buff? Teleport when hit with weapons or weapon skills. That's kind of funny. I think I would hate that. I think I would hate that a lot. The third leg is a staff. We'll just sell off those. Send those over to Walter to sell. I wonder if I actually do want that mace. If it was one-handed, man, that'd be the that'd be the bee's knees, but it's not. All right. So. What's in this next thing? This is Kevin's? His helmet? Good find. Gloves and heart, which is a chess piece. Sneaking HP sets wings. Walter, how does this one compare to you, bud? Can you wear this? That's an astonishingly good upgrade. And you just have wings all the time? Oh, Walter has ascended! <laughs> he has become an angel! <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. Minus wits, minus earth and air resistance, but grant skill petrifying visage. How does the rest of the stats compare? Slight upgrade. And so it grants a skill. It's not an active effect then. But I can just deal massive earth damage to everyone around me and potentially petrify them. That doesn't have a lot of really good synergy with what we do with Walter because um, petrification will remove effects like burning. And our build is kind of made around making burning work as much as we can get it to. So I don't think that is too good for us. What about the gloves? Increases our strength, lowers finesse, water resistance, two hammage skill, but lowers thievery and minus dual wielding. So it doesn't really work for either of my characters here either. Um, definitely interesting though. Definitely interesting. Maybe I want spontaneous combustion. No, that also lowers flame effects. I don't think I want that. We could go for provoke. Don't I have that? Oh, it's already skilled. I think we're chilling then. I think I'm good. Uh, there is another eternal artifact. It's an energy chest that's empty. An ancient tome. Let's open that. What does it say? With him at our helm, we are so prosperous as we are safe. We are as prosperous as we are safe. Each of the seven lords enjoys his or her own pre-eminence, but all act in the service of the king's design, each in their place, each in service of the whole. I guess they're talking about the gods. I'll need to get clever with this lock. And then this is an ancient loot. Why is that locked up? Why is a loot locked up? You know, I bet if I was an elf, I could eat one of those severed heads. And we could technically switch over to elven form if we wanted to, but... I think I'm just going to see myself out. 
Yo, I can help with this if you. Oh, by the divine, thank you. What? I'll never forget this kindness. Hey. Oh, we saved her wife. All right, what sells for the most? It is the chest piece. I was just gonna move this into the fire, and then she started thanking me. <laughs> You're welcome. No problem. Happy to. I can't even move it into the fire like I want. All right, fuck it. Uh, we. By completing the dwarven quest line, found out where the dwarves, uh, where the missing prisoners were. They're with the dwarves. Uh, they were being experimented on. I thought I would just tell Lord Kim that. It was you who sent us the war owl. Without you, the black ring-loving magisters would still be in charge. I suppose you have earned the right to involve yourself in paladin business. Just this once. And I'm a paladin. All this is thanks to you, you know. If we hadn't found out what the whites were doing in the black pits, we wouldn't have known that they had to be stopped. I am in your debt. Uh, you seemed happy to execute one of his own. She disobeyed orders. She knew that enjoy the city. Okay, so I guess he doesn't give a shit that we found the prisoners. They're still going through all of this stuff. They're still ramsacking everything. Cheap amulet. That's a trap. Couple of traps over here. You know what the good thing about flying is? You can't uh, hit any traps. I wonder if there's anything hidden in this corner. Seems like there's a bunch of stuff in front of it. Here. Chilling. I've oh my god, there is! I didn't know that! I didn't know that! Often the strongest locks hide the darkest secrets. Yo, for real. For real, I didn't know that. <laughs> Oh, there's more source in here. A lot of gems over here. Amulets that I could sell for a ton of money. Rubies. Jeez. This is what normal people do? Oh, a lamp. This one have a genie in it too? No. It doesn't even have a value. That's weird. Oh. Maintain secrecy. What are the magisters hiding? So all of this is like secret storerooms for the magisters. So the paladins presumably haven't found these yet. Careful. I've spotted Look a out. trap. I see a trap nearby. A lot of traps. Careful. I've spotted a trap. What did I discover? More Magister <gasps> trickery. I must have many secrets to go to all these lengths. Okay. That didn't sound successful. No, it didn't. What's this? I found something. What'd you find? Is it another thing behind a painting? It is! What was this first one called? There's some mechanism at work. Society in mind. Well, shit. Careful. I've spotted a trap. Body. If you wanted me to take the paintings, all you had to do was ask. Careful. Didn't sound successful. I spotted a trap. Look out! I see a trap nearby. The divine. What's this? I found something. Oh, can you just lockpick it? Didn't sound successful. Oh yeah, of course you can. Careful. Ouch. I spotted a trap. So there's gold cups, a civilian ledger. What's in the civilian ledger? Given the content of this report, the whites were keeping track of more than just sorcerers and paladins. They were building files on all of the Ark's populace. Is there anything behind that? Death? Well. Is that a dwarf? I thought th that stack of books was a dwarf. An open report. Read. The pages contain intelligence on you, Arhu, and Kim. Godwoken. From detailed spy reports, you can see finely written entries on your escape from Fort Joy, your trials through the Reaper's Coast, and the haphazard mess that happened on the Nameless Isle. Arhu. The notes mention to keep a close eye on Arhu. As he is, he has a tendency to disappear in cat form, but his presence is vital 
as the keeper of the temple. So Arhu is the keeper of the temple of the divine. And Kim, Lord Kim, the paladin, these notes mention that Dallas personally ordered a full investigation into the leader of the paladins. She was worried that she may have learned, that he may have learned about the black pits. Yes. Well, he did, obviously. So what was our update? What was... Last day of the magisters. We, are in the, we enter the largest chamber deep in the vaults. Magister Barris, could this be where Raymond and the white magisters fled to? Uh, anything else? I should have looked at that ring, but... So, do they have, like, a motto that they go by? Because I was just kind of clicking those buttons at random. I didn't know. Here, Fane, you just hang out. I can actually fly over all of these hazards now with my wings. Which is super nice. So, we hit those. I'm not seeing any more paintings. Could I always see right through that? I guess so. You could always kind of see right through this wall. So, so oh, there's a just a straight up button here. Well, I wonder if all that other shit was even necessary then. A giant gold pile. That's only a thousand gold. That should be way more than a thousand gold. A giant diamond, another button to presumably close Look the out. door. I see a trap nearby. I don't think the other button actually did anything. Uh, a bunch of garbage. But there are more diamonds and another way down deeper into this area. A Confiscated ancient empire water staff hanging up next to that picture of Alexander All right, well Let's check out the hatch After I take this last giant diamond Okay I actually don't know what to expect here. Oh well Hey guys Oh, we're not in combat. There's a lot of oil on the ground. Oh, I can see where this is going. I can see where this is going. No! You can't burn everything in here! That does get rid of oil, right? Beautiful. So, it, it seems as though... The Magisters left their geists behind, just in case anyone came in here, they would fucking burn everything. That will not do. I'll try to spread as much water around as I can. There's a lot of oil, though. I mean, I don't think I'll be able to get rid of all of it. Wait a minute, these are dead white Magisters. Why would the white Magisters be be dead. Um, oh, Fane's in combat. Oh, that, that makes a little sense. Zero AP, please, Fane. Does Blood Rain get rid of this shit too? Prepare yourself. No. Okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm amazed they didn't just ignite this fire. I'm really worried about Walter attacking. <laughs> okay, he's popping adrenaline just so he can deal more damage, but unless he knocks me down, I mean, I'm gonna be fine. We don't have anything to be worried about. Yo. Okay. Well, that's great news. I feel like we... We should be able to find a lot of information about the Magisters now. Ornate chests. Whoa! Oh, that's a spear. I thought that was a dagger. 
You also would think I've never done this game. I've never used spears. I never saw the point. All right. Well, uh, there's a bunch of letters, a bunch of journals, uh, a bunch of book piles. Did I get an update by coming in here? Hammerfall. We have learned that Lord Arhu is the keeper of the cathedral. It seems that anyone who wishes to enter the tomb of Lucian will need his help. Okay. What are you doing? Do you guys have the rain skill or no? I mean, Walter doesn't. What about Fane? Okay, you do. Yeah, get rid of all this oil just in case. I don't want I don't want any accidents in here. We'll separate these two. Uh, secret documents. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Read. This document contains details of one Karen. Seriously, do not leave him unattended. The danger is immense. They didn't call him the mistake for nothing, you know. He can control massive amounts of source if given the opportunity. I shudder to think of what happened last time he was in full control of his powers. We just got XP for that. The Covenant? Linder Kim is against the God King? He has sworn to the Covenant? He's been trying to extract it from it. What? How did we learn that from that fucking document? What the fuck? I don't understand how we... I don't understand how we got that information. But Kim is the lead paladin. Linder... Is Linder his first name? What the fuck? I'm just gonna keep raining in here. Why am I getting the bad feeling? I, I really think someone's just gonna... Intelligence briefing. This journal was apparently used for tracking the patrol of roots of Ark's paladins. Each target is described in detail from the gender and hair color of each paladin to the fit and condition of their uniforms. The Warden's Report. You can barely make out the writing. So hard did its author press the pen against the page. From what you can tell, this report details the result of Magister's barbaric interrogation techniques. You know what's funny is <laughs> I'm spreading all this rain specifically so encrypted book. I'm spreading all this rain specifically so I don't damage everything in here, but I'm probably am damaging <laughs> it with the water. Luckily, there's not a fucking interaction like that. Wow. Oh, I just noticed this is the room that I stepped in. But the, yeah, this is the room we saw briefly back here, but I didn't, huh. But I didn't stay in it because I wanted to explore the rest of shit. Journal with a note, an open report. I mean, I guess we already know our information about Kim. Let's go fucking talk to him. Uh, probably faster just to go back to the square for this one. But let's go have a word with the leader of the fucking paladins, shall we? That it is his name is Linder. Shit. So the leader of the paladins, the leader of the paladins is an agent of the God King. He swore to the Covenant has been trying to extract information from Arhu, who Arhu is the keeper of the cathedral, and we have to go through the cathedral to get the tomb of Lucio, or not Lucio, Lucian, in the tomb of Lucian. That is where Dallas is right now. We have intel on that. Ah. All right. Greetings once more. We have to say for yourself. All this is thanks to you, you know. If we enjoy the city, won't nothing. He had nothing to say. Hmm. 
I believe that to the west is the estate of our esteemed paladin commander. Foaming blood begins to gush from the eyes, mouths, noses, and ears of what the fuck? bystanders. Their flesh melts away, revealing hellish figures beneath. The doctor is dead. You must pay. Oh, his demons are mad at me. I was just walking through town. I was going to find some... I, I bought a belt from an NPC. The True Twine. Amazing amounts of HP on that thing. Well, that's funny. Well, I'll just kill you guys now. By the way, did I mention that I can get guaranteed critical hits? Because uh, I can get guaranteed critical hits. You demons might want to get the fuck out of here. Oh my goodness. This is a dog. Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> Open the rift! Yeah, that's what I thought! That's what I thought! What's happening over here? Voidwoke can attack in the middle of the city. All right, first things first. Valuable artifacts, heirlooms. I do believe that this is Lord Kim's home. What's the... Yep, Kim's mansion. He's a humble man, of course. Has a very small estate. As any good man of the cloth should. Yes, Here's the butler. Word, the mansion's positively overrun with foreign folk on this most inauspicious of Lucian's days. He catches himself and scrapes his throat in a brief moment of embarrassment. I, I, I do apologize if I came across as impertinent just now, and I hope you'll forgive my unabating boldness when I assume Sir has come here in search of an audience with either Lord or Lady Kim. Yeah, I wouldn't mind talking to Lord Kim, actually. He wouldn't talk to me in the paladin space, but I kind of want to see what the butler says. I'm afraid I can't accommodate you with the opportunity to have a word with my lord Kem at this precise moment, sir. My lord left early in the morning in pursuit of business and hasn't yet returned. Well, let's talk to the lady of the house then. Lady Kem is having tea in the drawing room over in the north wing. I'm quite certain a person that's obviously well traveled as yourself will have no problem drifting in that general direction should he deem it fit to do so. Uh, what was Lord Kim actually in pursuit of, Mr. Butler? I'm not privy to the details of my lord's ventures, but I gather his outing pertains to his office as Grand Master of the Paladins and the ousting of certain firebrands from the city. A most noble task, I'm sure. Unless I'm, I'm sure. quite mistaken, in which case I once more apologize profusely, you'll most likely find my lord in the immediate vicinity of the Magister headquarters. The Magisters, in case my previous sentence lacked clarity, being the firebrands I alluded to. All right, yes, take care. What a well-spoken butler. Mummy says I can't play upstairs in case I disturb her special guests. Are you a special guest? No, maybe not. Okay. Good talk. I hope everything is to your utmost satisfaction, milady. I like this butler, man. Her chamber key. Uh, which one of you is Kim's wife? Targeting isn't too good here. Oh, it's her. Oh, Han, did you get an invitation to tea? You must have misread the date, my dear. My hands are already full. Oh, well, so much for that. What about the rest of these guys? A delicious blend. I envy the lady's brewing skills. What about you? I do hope the chems might reopen the school. Children should not suffer from our misdeed. Okay. Let's take a look around the house. Hello. For heaven's sake, would you please? Oh, ever so sorry. I thought you were that rotten butler about to warn me once again to take the ocular, not the tactile approach. I swear I have a mind to beat him to death with the nearest dictionary I can find. Why, he's nice. Uh, tell her that to even contemplate such a 
Oh, fuck off. I'm going to say it anyway, though. Oh, do spare me. That little snob thinks me unworthy of being in his precious lord's mansion and appraising his precious lord's collection of antiques. Just you try judging the state of a Vedistian armor if you're not even allowed to rummage through its drawers. Uh, say you met Lord Kim, he strikes you more as an old warhorse than an antiquarian. Oh, he's all blood and battle, all right. Until you show him a Ferolian snuff box or an ancient imperial fainting couch. Then he's as giddy as a cat in a field of catnip. He knows very well I'm the best in the business. Asked me to value his collection personally. Um... What? I mean... She just said she's valuing his collection of antiques. Why would we... Okay, yeah, what are you doing exactly? I'm merely appraising the many antiques gathered in here in this beautiful mansion. A roguish little smile suddenly plays upon her lips. What else would I be doing? A finesse and shoulder... Finesse and soldier. Tell her that smiles like a general with stratagem. Uh, whatever you're doing, I want in. I like your confidence. Very well. Consider yourself invited. Now listen closely. Rumor has it that Lord Kim's mansion is built upon a massive vault in which he hides his true valuables. His entire house is but a smokescreen for the real treasure hidden underneath. I've had no luck so far in locating this fabled vault. But if you do, I swear the entire hoard is yours. No questions asked. All I want in return for this information is a trio of curious that is said to be kept inside. The portrait of the divine, the cup of kings, and the scroll of eternity. Everything else is yours. A most satisfactory arrangement. Can you help me locate the vault? Apologetically. There are only whispers of a vault and quieter whispers still of what it may contain. Probably. Okay. All right. So, lucky for me, I happen to know exactly where the vault is and exactly how to open it. Wouldn't that be lucky? Be mindful. What I don't understand about this place is all of the, the plants. The reaches toward the sky. The bottom that talk to you. There's so many plants here that are just like, hey, what's up, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Wow, that ring is pretty fantastic, too. Wow. I think I'll swap that out for my pyro ring, honestly. It's pointless to fight. Will. What? Okay, I'm being attacked by demons again. I'm sure it's gonna go just as well for you this time as it did the last time. Should I be concerned about the fact that the demons are... Wait, where where even is that one? I think the game bugged out. <laughs> That's what it seems like anyway. Knock him down. Good job, Fade. I don't even know where these guys are. No idea where those guys are. God, Walter's damage is so pathetic. Once you compare Walter to Fade, there's there's no, like... I used to think they were pretty equal, you know? Like, Walter was good at one thing, Fade was good at other things, but now Fade's just like a lean, mean, killing motherfucking machine. And I guess, you know, Walter does serve his purpose for being tanky, but... Alright, so that fight's done. Okay. So when I said I knew the location of the vault, I think I know the location of the vault. Shh. Be mindful. His the flower is withered. You I said his true name must be garden, but it has no discernible scent. Uh, touch the petals. The moment you finger the silky flower, I see darkness pierces your heart. The chill freezes your bones, then rushes free, leaving a single word etched within you. God woken. Why would a flower call me Godwoke? The flower is withered. Mist it, close you your eyes and search the air. The bloom. You take a deep breath, only for icy darkness to pierce your heart. The chill freezes your bones, then rushes free, leaving a single word etched within you. Oh. Oh, it's this. So. What's this? I found something. No, it's this. <sighs> Locked. I don't know where the key is. I just kind of avoid everything. So that lowers this hatch, which then we lockpick. And then descend down. 
This is the vault. A lot of treasure is in this place. Ah, so this is where Kem hides the good stuff. The good stuff indeed. Fane, you're up. Go ahead and hit him. Hit him hard, Fane. This guy actually is pretty tanky. He has these statues that resemble Lucian down in here. That obviously fight back quite well. Now, I am going to move down. Not really going to bother dealing any magic damage here. Just throw the shield for as much damage as we can and buff up our buddy Fane to keep him as healthy as possible. He's now fully fortified and he can deal damage to the statue. Now, when the statues die, they start to leak source out of them. So we are going to need to suck that up relatively quickly before they can reconstitute themselves. They have the nasty habit of reforming if you let them. So, Intruder. another one's in here. Intruder. Let's try to take him down very quickly. Uh, shield throw. That deals a lot of damage, honestly. Also put up a deflective barrier just in case this guy decides to attack me. I mean, I doubt he will. Can I provoke a statue? It appears not. All right, I'll hold my ground. Oh, Fane's not in this fight. All right, Fane, go start your own fight. Walter, let's let you have your moment to shine. He has immunity to burning. Well, fuck. Walter, let's let you attack this thing for about 25 fucking turns. Meanwhile, We'll take down this other statue over here Intruder. with Fane. Intruder. We'll fight on two fronts. I, I imagine that Fane is going to win this race just a little bit. But I'm not too worried about the survivability of either of them, to be totally honest with you. Let's get Walter healed back up. I think all of the magic damage that happened there was because I put that down on the ground like an idiot. Now Fane's back up. Oh, no more AP. Skip his turn. Walter has gotten through all the physical armor. We'll go ahead and throw the shield. Actually, can't can't miss that shield throw. Missed that shield throw because he's in smoke. And we couldn't possibly guess where he could have gone. Oh. Vacuum that out really quick. No, he's back up! We've noticed a flaw in my strategy. That's funny, if you didn't know about this, they would literally just keep reforming. But luckily, we smart. Now, I am gonna need Fane to help over here. Because, of, of course, Walter has forsaken all of his gifts from the gods. So draining the source from this thing is just not something he can do, quite frankly. Hi, Fane. Wow, we took way more damage than I was expecting. Like, way more. Oh my god. The damage is so fucked. Alright, this place should be safe for us to explore now. It should be. We spotted something. Giant frost rune in there. Grab that. Now, you may recall. I've spotted something. A painting that we found down in the sewers. Now, I knew about that painting, so we picked it up while we were down there. But, you know, if you weren't in the mind to steal, you could learn about this by talking to the dwarven thief. Thieving was the best chance I had of keeping afloat in this wretched city. Never thought that would mean trying to impress a bunch of kids. Big Tamora said. They let me in their grubby little guild if I helped them nab that painting of Kems, the second passion of Lucian. They'd even found a way into his vault from down in the sewers. Well, we made it in all right. And while Kems' constructs tore me to shreds, they all ran off with the painting. Grr. 
as if I needed more reasons to hate children. All right, take your leave. Fane, I'll close my eyes if you want to consume his spirit. Clo eyes closed. He is a necromancer after all. Uh, and that painting should be in Fane's inventory. Here it is right here. So, if we go ahead and throw that down. That opens up a secret passage deeper into Kem's vault. With I a pretty something. important painting in here called Responsibility. Now, I didn't know this in my first playthrough. I actually discovered this last night. Wow, that's fucking incredible. That's amazing. I didn't know about Responsibility in my first playthrough. In fact, in my first playthrough, I played Beast the Savage, right? So I actually missed a lot of content because I was literally killing every single person in the game as fast as I could kill them. Uh, lockpick this. Lockpicking is so... Wait, it's still locked. Then how do I get this open? All right, a book on the shelf, Tome of the God King. So I think what happened here is I wasn't supposed to know that Kim was associated with these guys. I think, I think that Tome that we read in the Magister's headquarters kind of bugged out. Oh, guys, look at this shield. Look at this shield. This thing is insane. Holly got this on her cleric. Look at that physical damage. Look at that block chance. The magical armor does leave a little bit to, you know, a little bit to hope for, but absolutely incredible. Now this does give you flay skin instead of our, um, armor up, which could potentially be a problem. But what flay skin does is destroy magical armor. So it might be easier for Walter to actually deal some pretty considerable damage to an enemy adversary. We're gonna throw a giant flame room on that thing, increasing our fire resistance up to 41%. At least I think it does, yeah, 41%. I also have a flame rune in that thing. But it's not really benefiting me. Minage runes. So what, what would be good for movement, dodging, Magic maximum armor, evasive aura, or accuracy. Ah, we'll do accuracy. Why not? And then, Fane, do you have anything I can actually put sockets into? You do not. Getting a a ring, two rings and amulets for Fane right now that have sockets in them probably would be better than simply looking for stats for him at this point. Simply because we could give him the fire runes, the large fire runes that would increase his critical strike chance for each one that he has. Uh, so this giant flame room, 12% critical hit chance, 12, 24, 36 on top of the 42 he already has. And uh, basically you're guaranteed to crit almost every swing, almost every swing. Now this is the part I didn't know about. I got to hear in my first playthrough, and I was like, oh, Kim's associated with the, this guy. Oh my God, what a great revolution. But if you take responsibility, the painting on the wall, and throw it in right here, throw it in right here. A dagger of pain shoots through your head, halting oh, your shit. advance instantly. You hear a voice, soft and calm, yet laced with disappointment. Such a long journey you have undertaken in the service of thieving charlatans in pursuit of that which you will never obtain. The God King's not happy with us. A long, sad sigh reaches you from the depths of the void itself. <sighs> this is your last chance. Abandon this folly. Leave and never return. Demand to know who you're speaking to. I am the past. I will be the future. I am the God King. You are but a misguided servant. Heed my words and leave. I do not wish you harm unless you force my hand. Wonder why the God King has a shrine in such a place. Well, we already know. 
Because my followers are many, my followers are everywhere. Your endeavors are pointless. The voice fades away, and with it, the pain. Okay, so this should work, though. Responsibility on this pressure plate. Oh, it's on that. Okay. And we can head down to this hatch where we will find Arhu. Tied up in the room. There's someone here. He seems to be in great pain. The man before you writhes in pain, oblivious to you. Otherworldly shackles are coiled all around him, keeping him prostrate. Try to get his attention. The man raises his head with an anguished groan. Uh, well, we know who he is already. Demand to know what, why this is being done to him. Note his desperate condition and offer to help. There is nothing you can do. Save yourself. Who are you? I am... I am Ahu. I've been looking for you. Well... Your search is at an end. Apologies if you were expecting a more convivial setting. He coughs up a gout of blood. While this conversation's happening, I'm just gonna make my way over here real Ghost. fast. And they're tearing his soul apart. Ghosts? Oh! Oh, I didn't know that! Uh, declare that you're going to find it. He coughs up a, gu a gout of blood. Uh, I'll find Before a way to help. He can dissuade you any further. His eyes roll. He just lost consciousness. Shit. Uh. Okay. Uh. I missed. Fade. Can you suck him dry? They're just ghosts, Fade. Please help him. Uh, uh, no. D don't do it. The pain is too much. It will kill me. Uh, tell me it's for his own good. There's, uh, there's he shudders as fresh waves of pain course through him. Leave. What he passes out. He said there was nothing that we could do to help. He's at full health, though. I mean, I could heal him, right? All right, let's eat another one of these things. Stop. He did yeah. take some damage there. Stop. P please. His face goes slack as the pain renders him senseless. I'm gonna save you, don't worry! The man doesn't respond. He's out cold. Uh, how's his health? He is hurting, but don't worry. Walter is a true paladin. You're gonna be fine, Lord Arhu. You're gonna be fine. Now, Thane, if you'd be so kind. Yeah, see, you made it. You're fine. You're at full health. Oh, we have some visitors from the Black Ring. They actually applied ruptured tendons to Fane. That's a bit irritating. Fane, you can't miss like that! Oh my goodness. Jeez, dude. Lord Ahu, you should have told me you were expecting visitors. Run, you fools! What the hell is going on? I might ask you the same. This place is mine, after all, and That's Ahu true. was my prisoner. But I can answer the question. This is where you shall die. Why, Kim? Why betray everything for which you once stood? I stood for a lie. The God King told me the truth, so I swore an oath. He's sorry it turned out this way, of course. But you can never see Lucian. It can't be allowed. Uh... Tell him to put up or shut up, because Arhu's coming with me! Oh dear. I thought you might say that. Shall- Shall we then? I believe we shall! Oh, well that cleave is unfortunate. Spark Striker. Hitting enemies with a melee hit calls fiery sparks to bounce onto nearby enemies. Is that a real spell? Can I get- Fuck! Arhu died! Ah! Yo, come on! In my co-op playthrough, I saved him! Alright, well, um... Uh, well, shit, that is- that is unfortunate. Maybe his ghost will be helpful, though. 
Hopefully, right? Hopefully his ghost is helpful. I am going to use a spell that I have not shown you guys yet. Because it's so difficult to get source on Walter, I've been saving this for a special occasion. And I do believe burning down the corrupt leader of the paladins is enough of a reason for me to use this spell. It's gonna hit Fane too, but Fane will be all right. Look at that. Look at that. Calling down meteors from everywhere. All right, he has help up there. But, you know, there's a there's a thing of source right next to me. Might as well use that. He got rid of all of my fire. Shield was removed by wet. I was fucking frozen. Shit. Well, both my characters are going to miss this turn. That's not good. Uh, this defiler is moving down. Uh, so, it turns out that removing all of the... <laughs> removing all of the uh, magic armor was probably a mistake. But let's throw our shield here. Should get a pretty good bounce. And then I'll move up here to face these guys while Fane deals with what's going on down there. Sounds like a good enough plan to me. That guy has a... Oh, the new shield has a constant deflect up. So I can actually remove deflect from my skills. We don't need that anymore. And we could potentially move something else over. But the deflect actually sent poison back up to this guy on the high ground here. Which, he's not undead, so that's a good thing for me. We are shocked, not stunned. We should be totally fine. We're stunned now. But look at that. I once again reflected that bolt back at that guy. That's so cool. That's so cool. I'm going to give myself another turn here. Yep. Go ahead, Fane. I am also going to enrage Fane. And let's try to deal as much damage to this motherfucker as we can. And that is going to be the dead leader of the paladins. Everything I swore my character to has been a lie. The paladins have been corrupt. The gods have been eating innocent people for their power. But the gods are dead. And so are you. All right. He just has two followers from the Black Ring that we need to finish off now. Can I get up there? No, because Walter's fully stunned. I might be able to get Fane up there. Let's go. Can you jump? One more step. One more step. Oh, I don't think so. Fuck. Wasted a lot of AP doing that. Still can't jump to them. And I'm afraid they're just going to jump away once I get up. Okay, fuck it. Let's just move in range. Let's get ready. They're backing themselves into a corner versus the hardest hitting thing that the world's ever seen. Walter is currently charmed. His actions are not his own. Fane doesn't have any physical armor and Walter could easily knock him down here. But instead he's blessing them. And using magic shell. All right. Good job, Mike Controlled Walter. You made this easy for me. Wait, that was a scroll. You motherfucker. <laughs> and he's still deflecting things back because his shield just does that now. Okay, I'm going to jump in. And I'm going to knock them both down. And then I'm going to auto attack one time. And try to deal some cleave damage. Looks like this is the best I can do. All right, taking care of everyone's down. Walter, go talk to the leader of the fucking paladins. Wait, he's eternal. The spirit, he's eternal. With a glint in the dark of his eye, the spirit of Kem gives you a toothy grin. 
Know that his spirit appears to be in skeletal form. Applying the principle of death as in life, deduce that Kim was secretly an undead. Well done. I admire your skills of deduction. Based on his demeanor, he seems to have reason to be optimistic. Further surmise, he is sworn to the God King. You are clever, aren't you? But there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing at all. Consume the spirit source. No, no, I can't, I can't. I can't. Even though every fucking part of me wants to, even though everything I've believed in has been a lie. I won't. We have his wedding band in our inventory. It appears to be a ring, or it appears to be a key. I don't know what to, though. Arhu, I'm sorry you didn't make it. The spirit watches you, composed and dignified, even in death. Uh, you, I need access to the remains of Lucian. Of course you do, Godwoken. Why else would you seek out a tired specter like myself? But what you ask was expressly forbidden by the Divine before his death. None, especially Godwoken, were to approach his remains. He saw that his crypt was turned into a fortress to thwart the likes of you. He even arranged for Godwoken to be harried by white magister and lone he? wolves to keep them far away from his crypt. So Lucian, swore to Lucian, Lucian killed all the God Woken in the Academy. He was the reason they all died. Now we know that Lucian was also the reason why the White Magisters did what they did. Which means that Lucian's also the reason that Dallas the Hammer is doing what she's doing. Lucian's dead. It's not for him to decide the fate of the world any longer. I know. And so I'm going to help you. Lucian's precautions have failed. The void thrives. It's clear that a different approach is needed. That a new divine is needed. Nobody knows every step of the path of blood. But I'll do what I can for you. First, you must get past Lucian's statues. The one that judges those who approach it. An amulet filled with source paired with a scroll of atonement will let you pass unharmed. Uh, where can I find... The amulet and the scroll. A man named Sanders was the engineer who designed this stage of the Path of Blood. Excuse me. He works Mercy. at a toy seller now, right here in Arx. Tell him that I sent you. He will give you what you need. I have my nightlight that turns on right at 9 p.m. And I have it set aggressively, too. So if I turn my night color scheme on, turn on now. You may notice that the viewing experience may go down. So, I had to fix that right away. Sorry if I covered up anything he said there. A man named Sanders was the engineer who designed that stage of the Path of Blood. He works as a toy seller now right here in Arx. Tell him that I sent you, and he will give you what you need. All right, we have to go to the toy store. Got it. I'll do what's necessary and ask what comes after that. Wear the amulet to charge it with source. Then bring both it and the scroll to the path of blood. There is a hidden mechanism. Place the amulet inside it, then read from the scroll in order to pass. Further obstacles lie beyond. I can only help with one of them. The death room. The, the death room? The room is filled with levers. Most are deadly. But five will lead you closer to Lucian's tomb. Each lever is named after a virtue of the divine. Five of them bear initials that spell power. Select these five and these alone. Okay, thank you. Farewell, Godwoken. His spirit was set free. We didn't have to consume him. I'm just going to soak up a little bit of source here. And, uh, you know, I think Fane's a little source hungry at the moment as well, so... Uh, we'll be sure to feed him, too. You motherfucker. Alright, Fane. 
I'm gonna go talk to that toy seller. His store is right over here, and Arhu said that if we say that he sent us here, then he should help us out right away. A visitor. Tell me, do you like puppets? Uh, yeah, sure. The toy seller nods and smiles. Wonderful. Here, take a look at this. The puppet springs to life. Impressive, no? There's a lot of craftsmanship in that small package. Quite a lot. Now, what can I do for you? I haven't had many callers of late, what with all the fuss and hubbub that's been going on outside. Um, how did you bring that puppet to life? Source, what else? Each and every one of my darlings has a little bit of magic in them. It turns a mere toy into a friend. Aren't you afraid the Voidwoken will be attacking because of his use of source or attracted to his use of source? Oh, no, not at all. I use only the smallest sprinkle of source in my work. I'd hardly think a Voidwoken would set its sights on me and my darling. Well, how did you avoid Magister Prosecution? since they hate any source user. I'm on good terms with the Divine Order. They know what my work entails. They've even had use for me in the past. I have nothing to fear from them. Okay, uh, Lord R who sent me, uh, he said that you could teach me how to pass along the path of blood. Well, all right. In order to pass the first chamber, you'll need an amulet that's charged with source. It says five souls worth to be precise, but that wasn't voiced over. Take this and wear it. The amulet will fill as you gather source. Unless it's charged, it's useless. Then the next step. You'll need the scroll of atonement. It's locked in my desk on the second floor. The password is Giora. Giora. When you have both the amulet and the scroll, go to the Path of Blood. On the left side of the chamber near Lucian's statue, you should see a hidden mechanism. It will clear the way. Wow, he was incredibly descriptive. I've never worked with him before. This was, this is so much easier. Normally his whole room comes alive and all the puppets are trying to kill you and everything's going crazy. I literally just walked up. The desk is locked tight. Instead of a keyhole, there's a gilded in. Password is written on a blank parchment. Okay. You take a nearby quill and dig the ink is absorbed into the parchment until it vanishes. Oh, sorry. Somewhere within the desk, a mechanism unlocks with a click. I totally skipped over that dialogue there. Basically, what this is, it's a blank parchment with a pen, and because we're a scholar, we were able to deduce that we have to write a password on the parchment. Then it gets absorbed into the parchment, and if it's the correct password, then the container will open up. We already knew the right password, so I was just kind of excited and running up here. Uh, normally, there's quite a process to learning this. Because he was so helpful, I'm not going to touch any of his other stuff. I'm just going to take the Scroll of Atonement. I'm going to leave everything else to him. Uh, I, I don't want to cause him any ales. He's been very helpful to me. And rather than stealing souls to charge up this source amulet, I am going to use the source from this container. Curious. This amulet is storing the curious. This amulet is storing the source. Ah, my amulet is glowing with source. My amulet is already brimming with source. It cannot contain more. And with that, we make our way to the city square. And we can now Enter into the church. I pray to my heart complete the path of blood. And enter into the tomb. O pilgrim. Of Lucian. May Lucian return. Offer a prayer for Lucian's return. The prayer seems to echo in the hollow space inside you. May Lucian return. 
May he return indeed. Maybe then we can stop praying and get back to our lives. That hollow space in us is, of course, where Ralic, our god, used to reside. Look at our shield! It even makes our sword glow. We look amazing. The next video is the last one, everybody. I hope you look forward to it.